Yo, welcome to another video of making the game Songbringer. We're about three and a half out of four years into making this game. There's still a few things left to do, even though the game's out on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox. There's a big update coming out. It's basically a, full, a free DLC. Um, in fact, it actually probably will be a free DLC. Um, and uh, there's the soundtrack to finish and the iOS version. But other than that, yeah. So anyways, I'm working on some bugs today. Get some bugs fixed. Um, the first one is making the Vel not pester the player. So I just had somebody message on the Steam forums. This is a really easy thing to do just to make Vel not pester you so much if you are not strong enough to go to the tower. Because right now, um, if you just have Vel, in fact, let's get Vel get all the things set up for this. Cross out all these things I didn't really need. Okay, we'll just put her put us right here. There, the starting point. Um, we have Vel. She can have the jewelry. Okay, whatever items we have. Um, is that if I start here, she's gonna pester me right away. Like, let's go to the tower. Let's go to the tower. But if I don't have enough items, it's a really bad thing for players because this one player thought that they had to go to the tower. Like, oh, okay, and they just didn't complete all these other dungeons. So, um, first of all, I'm going to make it restricted to how many um, life containers. So, what I consider essential, and essential for beating the final boss, um, you need to have at least, uh, I would say, seven... Seven out of the games, there's oh wait, there's 14 total health, minus three. There's 11, yeah, there's 11 life containers. I would say you need to have like at least seven of those. So seven life containers. Um, you need to have like at least 12 cactuses. And that's four, four cactus containers. And you need to have the chip and the glove. Or else you just, you're not going to be able to do enough damage. Or it's going to make it super difficult. Um, and one flask. That's that's what I would consider essential um, for being the final boss. I've often often used up all my cactuses and my flask, and had all tons of health and the chip and the glove, and still barely beat him. Um, so that's. That's what I would consider to be essential. Let's uh, make up this predicate so she doesn't bug you so much. I think this is Vel 3 or Vel 4. No, not Vel 3, I guess it's Vel 4. Let's check that. Vel 4 is when she's like, come on, let's go, yeah. We gotta go to the tower, let's move. Come on, go to the tower. We need to go to the tower, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna add one more where she says, Um, we need to find the tower, but you aren't strong enough yet. Actually, You need four more items. Something like that. Okay, so we've got that. Um, let's add that 4E situation and change up all these. 4, four E happens it doesn't matter your Z 
Actually, you should be on the overworld. So, Havel, she exists. Spin a second. Say 4e. We'll need to add some predicates about items here too, so it doesn't trigger this and these. So let's start with these, 4a, for example. In fact, let's comment out all the rest of these for a moment. So we can just focus on this one, get it right first. Um, in fact, let's do fell 4 e comment out at first as well. So we'll just do this one. Oh, this is interest. What the heck is 4A? Come on, let's go. Oh, that's right when you get her. Okay, so you, that one, that one's okay. Right when you get her, when she, you're in the, the chamber where you unlock her, she can say that. But this one, starting with Vel B and Force, for B and for C, these are the ones that we definitely want to um, have some items. So I think you can do a predicate based on number of life containers. Let's check this out. <clears throat> it's in world CPP, it's in matcher. Maybe not. This might be a story system. Yeah, okay, it's in story node. Okay, so we need quantity at least. Quantity at least. That's not what I was thinking. So I, I guess so what I'm looking for is there's this one bit of code where it checks for any live container. There it is. Well, that's has. Okay, so the quantity thing has not been. So I need to kind of adapt this so that the yeah, because we need to know. We need to say like, okay, they has.
it's gonna get complicated fast if I try and tear all this apart. I'll be, you have to do so much testing. It'd be a lot easier if I base this on your power level. There's a, there's a pretty easy thing to check where the player has a certain power level. Like, let's show what the player's power level is. When we create the main hero, maybe when we create the area. Do like a power level. I just want to see my current power, power level. Five nine. So, chip uh, of the glove, four live containers. Oh, yeah, I need more live containers. Cat, lots of cactuses. Okay, so let's set the items down. Let's get an indicator for. It's like we have the sword. So if we just had the sword, what power level would we be at? Point oh five. Just thinking about how to do the power level in the story system. Okay, so we need, say we have one life container. Adds a little bit. All these. Um, we want glove, the chip, cactus containers. We want four of those. What else was there? Seven life, four cactus, chip, glove, oh, flask. Point 
one, three, two. Feels kind of low still. Oh no, we don't have enough life. What's up with that? One, two, three, four. We have, how can we have seven of these? We don't have thir 10 health. We should have two rows of health. What? Oh my god. It's... Oh, 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 oh. It's almost invisible, that's why. Still feels low. Like, yeah. Okay, let's do. Let's make it a little more reasonable. Like, you should probably have the top hat. Um. So one bomb container. Meditate ability. Where are some other like, super? Blink. Now we're up to point four one. That's sound that's looking a little better. What else? Things like the cup and stuff like that, it's not, doesn't it affect your power level. I guess you could have maybe two more cactus containers. Or like a three bomb containers or something like that. I think I started this off saying this is going to be quick, huh? 0.45. That seems about right. Cool. Let's put it there. All right. So we're going to add a predicate that looks like this. 4B, flags, entrance, power, 0.45. So that means the player has to have that much power to do this. Okay, now we need to add some stuff to the story system. That is slowing it down today, man. task. This criminal task doing so much. Uh, anyways. Story system needs to be able to parse.
So we're gritting, we're getting the power node string, and then we're going power equals parse float if it exists. We're gonna need Xcode open to test this, and then we just need to um, use this in the can run function. Node.power is greater than 0, 0.0. If okay. If hero dot gear dot get power is greater than or equal to node.power. Or no, if it's less than power, return false. Okay, there we go. So breakpoint there and there. Let's check this out. And did that for Bell, right? She's got power 0.45. Cool. All right, we should be good to go. Let's make sure we're all built up. Copied over. There we go. Yeah. Being, building. All right. So slow today. I didn't trigger it didn't trigger the breakpoint when we testing the power or when we loaded the power. That's, oh, I didn't set a breakpoint? Oh, there was no breakpoint. Well, we do want to see that. Something else, too. Is there, is there a clear? I don't know. Okay, so they start off at negative one. There's no clearing or testing was cleared. Okay, we're cool. Let me start this over. Great. We are inside story node. World matcher's key is vel 4 b good. And we're parsing string 0.45, good. Parse float, less than stir, yada yada, return value, great. This story node should now have power 0.45-ish. Looks good, bam, we're parsed. All right, now, it's gonna go in here, it's be like, ah, I'm gonna try and run this in breakpoint. Node power. If here to get power is less than no doubt power.
This is not exactly a fast function, but it's not super slow either. I'm just you know, I'm trying to think about the story system not eating up too much, but this is fine. Good, she did her line. Um, now we can test it out. If we say we have power of 0.40, oh, it should still trigger. But if it's 5 0, 3 4 6, should not play this line. Good. Okay. Now let's incorporate this one where she is a little more gentle. Um, if we have Vel, blah, 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 is not. If we do not have Vel for B and not Vel for C and not Vel for D, then we can play this. If any of these have played, then we know that because they now have this power level thing. Right, for B, 4A is okay because that just plays in the one spot when you first get her. And, it, and it's not pestering. Okay, let's make sure that all works. Basically, oh, it's going to play for B, C, or D. No. Nice. Cool. So she played her 4C and 4B. And now she's done. Because 4A and 4D, 4A is only in when you first get her, 4D is if you're in a dungeon. Let's go into a dungeon.
Now, if I did not have that last bomb container, Four five, four five, four five. She played four D. And then we went up to the overworld. Oh, she just she doesn't play those on the entrance. She's not saying her second line. And why is he screwed? Why did he even play this line? What? This time we did this one? I think what it's doing is it's it's actually able to play so we need to basically add a power
All right, we're, oh, no wonder this has been taking up so much CPU. Xcode's been open. All right, let's get that reparsed. Let me check that it's parsed. Okay, so 4E, all the odd means actually just need to be power greater. Four E needs to be lesser. And we had to test it out. Need to do trim. Split already takes care of that. And besides, Valtry already takes care of that. Right, so we got two words. If the first one's greater, then we got power greater. Awesome. Let's set a breakpoint for lesser. Okay, those parse nicely. Let's go where it's running them. And we've got this power should go down a little bit further in, the, in this check. So it's checked last.
Okay, it worked. What? All we've modified really here is story system in the code. Story system has this matching for power, parsing for power, it's really it. And then we're adding that one new string and this one new action and the power level check. Step we turn off Xcode. Don't need to be any slower than it already is. Good, okay, now she's playing the correct ones. And she's not playing the other one. Good, okay, now if we give the player one less item, let's take away that bomb container. We should have a power level below 0.45 and we should play the other one. Good. Okay. And she does not play her other one for here. Good. Okay, let's test this out one more way by getting her for the first time. Foul zero. She should play her dialogue. Come on, let's go. Then she should be able to play her other dialogue. Oh, that's if we're out of this. Okay, so we gotta get out of here. And then she can say, you're not strong enough. Oh, but not if they're bad. Fix that right now because I could be catching something in the middle like 
my system could be super whatever. This could be dependent on God knows what. Okay, and just one more check. Start with Val. See why she's not playing her other line. Oh, it worked that time. It's like a feature you can't disable in Vim. I tried. There. Wasn't she not supposed to do that in an entrance? Doesn't matter. Okay, but yeah, this on that one. All right, whatever. Okay, does it do it consistently? <sighs> sometimes does it, sometimes doesn't. kind of bug. Dude, I don't know if I have the freaking mental energy for this right now. Oh, dude, screw it. Whatever, I got the important thing done. I'll just note this bug, though. Okay. 
I get I get a little bit to so let me drink here. It's kind of weird that my CPU is still hot. What's up with this? Oh, it's backblaze. That's why kernel task is big. Sorry if anybody's chatting. It's like I'm disconnected from chat or something today.
Okay, so next up is showing the jib stash and Bell's jewelry on the main menu. Hmm. the interfaces. There it is. So we're going to skip straight to the menu. Whoa, what am I doing? Let's re enable all the other items I had before all this craziness. We have the jib stash, we have jib. Going straight to the menu. All right. Okay, so we have the jib stash, but jib is just showing up as as a little nothing. No stash. Is easy enough. Okay, and then Bells is uh, um, just idle that is jewel, idle jewel. I think Jibs is just stash. Yeah, stash. All right. This is definitely the thing I should have started off with. So easy. The other one was I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. It's always good to get something easy done first because it makes you feel like more accomplished. Quick and easy things. Got to be thankful for those. All right. Check it out. See if it works. Come on. No whammies. Yeah! Jib with this stash. Okay, let's take away the stash. Uh, 
All right. Now let's put on Bell. Gold and Bell with her jewelry. Cool. That was a super quick one. All we changed was interfaces. All we did was change a couple lines. Love it. Has stash if you have the stash. Nim has jib. Do the jib things. Then we do the belt things. We have the stash. Do the stash. Uh, jewels. Blah blah blah. Looks good. It's the dust. Okay, the next thing I'm working on today is gonna be um, making the charged attack. You're able to charge again without swinging the sword if you do it within the right a quick time window. And uh, I almost have the code working for it, but there's a few little things left to do. It's kind of just tricky. Uh, what's up? Somebody, somebody chatting? Fails in. What's up, man? Somebody's kidnapped wizard foo. I'm here, man. <clears throat> How you doing? All right. 
So we don't need to go to the menu anymore. Doing great? Cool, man. Yeah, I'm doing good too. Yep. Living. I'm excited to have all this new content finished. Um, and uh, mostly doing bug fixes at this point. Yeah. So all this new content is going to be coming for Songbringer, like uh, the charged attack, parry ability, ring item, which adds all these special attacks to bosses and a new boss, new new boss area. All this stuff's coming soon. It's basically a free DLC. A free DLC is worth the content. Okay, we got the charge. We've not defeated the sword boss. Let's add that. Or we'll just we'll just defeat him. Whatever. Oops, forgot to turn off skip. Skip to menu. Skip to the menu, my darling. Let's turn on the smaller window size so we don't have so much so much CPU being eaten. GPU, I'm not sure which. Oh, we're gonna the sword. Fast forward mode. Fast forward to beat the boss. Yay. Okay, so the thing is, getting this charge attack just right. So before what you had to do was you could charge up, release, then you'd have to swing your sword again to charge again. But now I want to make it so if you charge again within just the right window, you don't have to swing your sword again. Like that. So a couple of those in there were like, Seemed like they were within the window, but they still... I guess I should slow down time when I'm doing that. That would help. Um, I'm trying to just remember where my thoughts were, because I, I had to pretty much do all this work last night, and I was just like, couldn't quite nail it down. There was a few little issues. I'm trying to remember what those little issues were, and oh, let's just do a code review. So we did a charge release tick. Oh yeah, charging the sword function now has delay. You can pass to it so that you can charge the sword from one function to the other. Maybe, maybe I should change the color of the player so he's like green when you can charge again. And 
and, and red when you cannot. But just implementing that is going to be a headache. <laughs> um, it's not so simple. I think just slowing down time is probably the easier way to go. I'm just paying attention to if he swings the sword. Okay. My inst well, yeah, so let's just do one more little code. Finish this code review. Shows your laps. I think this charge again cooldown ticks needs to be increased a little. Up, release. I'm pressing the button in the middle there. Ah, I can charge again. Letting go. I'm all the way to stopped. Ah, yeah, and I had to charge. Okay. Huh. Okay, let's. Charge release tick. When we set that, we do the charge attack. I think I, I think I got a way to do this where e dot render dot sprite dot set color. Okay, you're um green. And then we'll just schedule a function that sets the player back to, to well, changes it to red. So there, he's green and then he's red.
turns red before it's even finished. Okay, so let's keep put these two constants together. So it's not having to it's not coupled. So we got the charge again cooldown, and the charge again cooldown with the glove. Let's increase that a little more again, because it still needs to be a little longer to go just a little beyond the animation. Okay. What's up, XYE? How you doing? So this is K charge again cooldown glove. And this is K charge again cooldown. And this is now a double. Okay. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't use it for the other ones. This is kind of the whole point. So if we have the glove, K okay, charge again, cooldown. No oh, glove, K okay, charge. Again, cool down. I think this is a good idea to do this whole green red thing. Sometimes this is what you need is just to make things visual because when things are happening over time in the code, lots of things are happening and it can be really tricky to to follow what's going on when it's when there's complex systems interacting or simple systems interacting in complex ways, whatever you want, however you want to see that. The whole point is, sometimes it makes it easier on my wee little brain to make it just visual. Let go, we're green, red. Green, start charging again. Oh. Pressing it. Okay, it did work. Pressing it. What? What? Let go. No, you're green. Okay, something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong with his code because he was green and he's still swinging the freaking sword.
That explains it. That kind of explains it. Basically, it's probably getting right back in and calling the sword's attack code again. Ah, see, we're char we're just taking k seconds per tick till we start charging. Um, an easy way, well, this calls, this sets up the charge tick right away. So we could just like, um, say and charge tick equals zero. Or we could make charging the sword the other way increase the repeat count. I think. Freaking swings again. What the hell? Ah, uh, I gotta take a break. I'm one of those days, maybe low blood sugar or something. Whew. Kind of foggy brain day. Oh, and anyways, I got two bugs finished. I got this. Do little feature almost finished where you can charge your sword again without having to swing your sword again. This is going to require a bunch of work though because after I actually get this working and it works well for the glove and without the glove, um, It'll require a bunch of testing. I'll basically have to play the whole game and make sure that um, the charged attack is not OP because of adding this feature. <clears throat> right? Brain fog is crazy. I'm going through some crazy body changes right now, though. Like, I'm, I'm doing this... Um, intermittent fasting and I'm working out a lot and all this stuff so I'm trying to like burn off fat finally have a six pack that's my goal is actually have a six pack so it's tough I'm going through this phase where um, I think my body is getting used to the fact that it's burning fat you're familiar with IF cool yeah yeah so I've been pushing my intermittent fasting a bit I'm up to like 16 to 18 hours, but some days it's like tough on my brain in the beginning of the day and when I first eat and stuff. It's definitely an adaptation period. Yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> I want to be a buff wizard. <laughs> uh, but look, I can still halfway write code. Even with brain fog, halfway code. Oh, uh, anyways, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna kind of like officially eat some dinner, get my big meal of the day in. I think that'll help. Then I'll come back and hopefully be able to code better, finish this little feature here, test it out, make sure I didn't break the balance by by adding this little feature. So yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Appreciate you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Hope you're doing well.